Okay, welcome to the second video. I'm gonna be playing through the second level. Uh, present day would have been like, I wanna say 2007, 2008. I don't remember exactly when this game, game came out. Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you this way. Rick Henderson, I've been looking forward to this. As have I, Mr. Alexander. Don't let's stand on ceremony. Call me Jack. Rick. Make yourself comfortable, Rick. I'll be right with you. I admire your work. Real journalism. Thanks. I thought we'd start with your thoughts on the White House attack. Then discuss your tenure as director of the FBI, post-retirement mm -hmm. reflections, whatever, and... Rick. Or if you want to sound off on politics... Rick. My apologies. This interview about me is just a cover for a more sensitive story. I'm sorry to have lured you here under false pretenses, but I couldn't risk a leak. I'm not sure I understand. Don't worry. It's the scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that... Listen, please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. Have a look at the folder. Two thousand four. No, no dial up sounds. All right. Hello, forty seven. Your next target's in Chile. His name is Fernando Delgado. Used to be a okay. colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a vineyard. Mm. So much for That's a like family business. The lab is underground. And hard-working gentleman. Fernando's son, Manuel, is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B-action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch. All right, so for this mission, it's way more um, in depth than the first one, where they kind of just walk you through everything. But honestly, I don't really need to take anything other than the silver baller here. Um, these are just too loud. So, um, but I am gonna upgrade the silver baller. Oh, <laughs> careful. All right, so far every target has been a cigar smoker. Okay. Now, there's a couple ways you can play this mission. A lot of them are unnecessary. Uh, and overly complicated. Best way, in my opinion, start off. I'm gonna run over here. This is like a compound house winery, and apparently they've got some cocaine stuff going on underground. This guy's not even gonna see me coming. Well, he will but not really. Let's see if we can sedate him. 
Yes, we can. Let's take his suit. Let's drag him over here. Uh-oh. Every time I play through this game, I always, you know, in the beginning have this yearning for the stress that this game can create. Um, but man, once it happens, you really regret wanting it. All right, so climb up here. In subsequent levels, I'm gonna have less and less of an idea of what to do. So, y'all are just gonna have to bear with me. I think I got hurt from jumping off that. Hopefully no one sees what I'm doing. There he is. Get the old fiber wire. Got him. And now we're going to take his revolver because it looks nice. And then we're going to drag him over the top. Bye-bye. Hmm. Okay. Not as... hidden as I would like, but... that'll do. Alright, now we want to get off here. Usually nowhere to get to land, so you just kind of jump off. Alright. That one was really easy. A little straightforward. Theoretically, no one knows what I've done. Or that he's even died yet. Now this guy is a little harder, and we're going to have to do a lot of waiting. Look at all these people. Look at all these witnesses. Look somewhere else, lady. Up, buddy nice mustache I'm the new guy don't don't even don't even worry about me all right uh yeah there's my guy now he's gonna do a lot of walking around but he will walk in here I think come on go in there what are you doing, guy? And now, I will have to use the gun. Eh, I'll try the poison. Might be less. like this. Okay, he's dead. And then we're gonna get out of here. Normally I have to wait for him to walk all the way through the goddamn vineyard. Thankfully this time, that's unnecessary. I think it's because I got there in time. Normally, Normally I try to go to the other side of the compound, there's another security guard there, but it's it's just more complicated because then you have to kill another security guard to get into the main house. Or you can just come over here, put my suit back on, 
you do lose some of the reward if you don't get your suit. Not sure why this guy wouldn't be spending so much on suits, but planes down here. I uh, wonder if I can throw this guy farther off. I don't think so. Not worth it. Might be able to throw him off this one, but it's fine. No one's seen him yet. And I'll be gone when they do. Now, normally I don't get the suit, and I don't have any trouble getting on the plane, but these guys might not like me being down here, so... We'll just have to see what happens. That guy didn't seem to care. This guy might. This guy has guns. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't think he's happy. He's coming over to yell at me. This guy's sleeping, but I'm gonna escape. Alright, so I guess as long as you run through that. I feel like you'd be able to find me. Perfect. One shot. Fired. Huh. That's what you want. That's what you want. Uh, cool. Yes, yeah, see, see retrieval. Perfect. Um, and so you can do this when you didn't have a such a silent mission as I did, uh, and it'll bring your score down, which is good. It, um, you want it to be zero. Um, but since it was a perfect playthrough. I don't need to do that. Yeah. Silent assassin. Yeah. Okay. These usually aren't worth necessarily reading. At all. 